Hi, this is Lauren. Well, I'm going to do a little experiment here the comparing the handwriting recognition engine that's available on the Mac via Inkwell with that from Microsoft that's, that you can get on tablet PCs and in Vista. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm running Firefox here on the Mac and I can use Inkwell to handwrite queries which can then be sent off in this case to Google and I also have, as shown in yellow at the top of Firefox here, a Silverlight application which is written so that it can take ink strokes and then send those strokes off to a remote server running Windows that has the recognition engine on it recognizes, that recognizes those strokes and then sends the text results back. So we can kind of see some of the differences between the way the recognizers work. Okay, so let me turn the Write Anywhere feature on on the Mac. Okay, let me make sure the edit field selected and then I can just write my have to hand print my um, queries in Inkwell that works the best for me anyway and uh, I wrote tablet PC it got it just fine and uh, got the results let me do the same thing I'll print oops let me make sure the writing where's turned off now I use the Microsoft recognizer tablet PC and you see it got it also tablet PC got all the capitalization correct. Both of them did in this case, which is uh, really good. Now, some of the differences are that um, when it comes to cursive. So let me write in cursive tablet PC. And you see it. Uh, the Microsoft Recognizer got it just right, tablet PC. Now let me go do the same thing down here. Let me just manually delete that entry for just a second. And I will uh, write in cursive tablet PC and it got it um, doesn't always get it um, that's why I said sometimes it does most of the time it doesn't but in this case it did which is perfect for a demo <laughs> let me show let me do another one which is uh, let's say Apple Store Apple Store and this time it got W space Do which is not correct. Let me go back up here and oops to the Microsoft Recognizer Apple Store and it got it just fine. Apple Store. Um, here's another interesting difference between the two recognizers is the Microsoft Recognizer understands the uh, stroke order uh, much better or much differently at least than the uh, recognizer, the Inkwell recognizer. For example, let me write store and then Apple. And you see it got it Apple store in the correct order. Even though I wrote store first and it got those. Let me go down here. Let me do the same thing with Inkwell. And um, I'll write, make sure, let me make sure I got the edit field selected. I'll hand print S T O R E Apple. And you see it got store Apple because I wrote the word store first, then Apple. Even though the Apple was to the left of the uh, immediate left to the word of the store of store. So a human would have gotten that, but the but Inkwell didn't. That's kind of interesting. Um, another difference in, is that you in the handwriting recognition from Microsoft, it uses a dictionary. It's very dictionary based. And if the word isn't in the dictionary, it may get it and it may not. You can add words to the dictionary, but uh, sometimes uh, names of people may or may not be uh, recognized. Generally, I find if you print them, and uh, you know that there's somebody's name or something, if you slowly print them, it'll work if you carefully print it. Same thing, um, I think uh, that's a little bit better for me anyway on the inkwell for names, but um, let, me, let me do a little example here. So let's say we were going to search for a scobalizer. I'll use the right anywhere for right now. Okay, so I'll hand print scobalizer. And it didn't quite get it. It's uh, scobalize. Let me try one more time. Scobalizer. Yep. Oh. Didn't get it again, but it got it got pretty good. It just added an extra space, which is not bad. That was easy to correct, and you can see. Um, I'll get to the editing gestures in just a second. Um, let me go back and turn off the um, 
write anywhere, and then up here in the Microsoft Recognizer, I'll write Scobalizer. I'll print it right now. And it got Scobalery. Not quite right. Let me try one more time. Scobalizer. Nope, didn't get it. Scotland. So you can see, the. I would say that's one of the big differences. Sometimes it gets it. Just kind of depends on how carefully I write the name. Let me go very slowly, see if that happens, if that helps. Yeah, that time I got it, because I wrote nice and slowly. Now if I write in cursive, it sublimes. Yep, no scobalizer there. Um, and another um, interesting difference is between the recognizers is that there's um, there are some built-in editing gestures in Inkwell. So let's say, look, if I go back here, I can use a select all gesture to select the text and then do a cut. There's a little cut gesture. You saw the backspace earlier that I did, which was a right to left stroke. That's good. That's good. So let me see. Apple. You see, I got Apple just fine. Uh, right now, because I of uh, the code, there's no there are no gestures per se supported in the panel that's uh, the silver light panel that's shown here. But there is like there's one you can there's a backstroke strike gesture. So let's say Apple, you can use a left to right, I mean a right to left stroke to delete. But um, that's uh, that's not really. Um, there are actually a whole bunch of gestures that the Microsoft Recognizer supports, but n none of them are implemented here except that one, which the code is actually doing manually. Um, anyway, oh, and one other thing. This kind of say, let's say, like if the query is um, something completely different, kind of interesting. Sixty-four times two minus three. You can see that the Microsoft Recognizer did pretty well. And got, well, it got it. Send it off to Google. 64 times 2 minus 3. And let's uh, do the same thing uh, in Silver and uh, Inkwell. So let's say uh, 64 times 2 minus 3. And it also got it just right. And same answer. Anyway, that's about it. It's uh, you can give this a try yourself at tabletpcpost.com/search. Uh, right now, it uh, on the Mac side, it's not working. Uh, there's some bugs in in the Safari. There's some other bugs too you might run across. Um, so Firefox is the only way to go right now on the Mac. Um, you can try it on a Windows machine, no problem, either in Firefox or on the uh, uh, in IE. Anyway, um, have fun with it.